Hey, it's Thursday, October 13th, and the tech do starts in five, four, three. Now it starts now. The Steam Dev Days is happening right now, and there were a couple of announcements from the event. First off, there is going to be an update that will add full support for Sony's DualShock 4 controller to the Steam Controller API. Valve says that the existing native support for the DualShock controller on the PC was a bit weak. With this update, the controller will communicate with Steam directly so that everything just works. On the VR side of things, Valve revealed a new prototype controller for Steam VR. The biggest change for the new controller is the ability to open your hands completely without dropping the controller, which is very similar to the Oculus Touch controllers. Another announcement made at Dev Days was that future Samsung TVs will have the Steam Link built in, meaning that you won't need the $50 box to be able to stream games from your PC to your TV. What do you guys think about all the news from Steam Dev Days? Will you start playing Steam games with a PS4 controller? Let us know and comment below. In other news, Periscope Today has introduced Periscope Producer. It's a new way for live video content creators to broadcast high quality streams from devices that aren't a phone or tablet. You can stream from external sources like streaming software, hardware encoders, and professional cameras on Periscope and Twitter. And just like any other live broadcast on the platform, the audience can send comments and hearts and watch live on the apps and on the web. However, you will need to sign up to be able to get access to Periscope Producer. Will Periscope Producer get an edge over Facebook Live? Only time will tell. It's time for Sniffy Snippets. Rumors are coming out of Samsung's Russian operations saying that the company is concerned the Note branding has had its reputation destroyed and that Samsung might drop the Note name from future devices. That's too bad for Jack because he had a Note 7 and he was hoping the next Note would give Samsung some redemption. Too bad. OnePlus has currently paused production on their OnePlus 3 flagship phone to either whip up a OnePlus 3 variant or whip up something entirely new. MSI has announced that their new mini PC, the QB2, will be launching globally soon. These mini PCs will be equipped with Intel KB Lake U processors. Thermaltake has a new gaming mouse that has a fingerprint sensor built in. It's called the Black FP. I guess if you're super lazy about inputting passwords, this mouse could kind of help with, you know, just a swipe of your thumb. Sources for all of today's these news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Hey Jack. Yeah? Knock knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Good. If you have something that you would like us to say, tweet it at us with hashtag NCIX yo dog. But you know what isn't a joke? The new promotion from Intel. Buy any qualifying Intel Core i7 CPU and get two free games. The first game is Warhammer End Times Vermintide, and the second game is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. That's almost 80 bucks worth of games. Click here or down below for the details about this. All right, that's it for Nightlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. So it's raining, so I need to find a nice pair of rain boots because it's apparently going to rain for the whole week here.